And then when we look at taxes, at, as far as taxes go, we don't want to get too deep into this. So we'll kind of go through that fast. But some, some basics that you should keep in mind is that there is a federal gift tax, there's a federal estate tax, and there's a federal generation skipping tax. Um, this is the part where most people are already asleep, so we'll just go as fast as we can through these. My, my key there to tell you is that it's important to speak with a professional. Keep in touch with professionals about these things. They can help you through that. Whether it's an accountant, um, we would recommend that you, you meet with a financial advisor, uh, an accountant, and an attorney. Those are, those are your dream team folks that can help you through these, these tax matters. Um, and uh, as a financial advisor, we, we often will uh, quarterback this to kind of help. We don't give tax advice, but we can get you to the right person that can give you the right tax advice. And we don't give legal advice, but we can get you to the right person that can give you that legal advice that you need. And so it's important to keep that in mind. Um, the federal gift tax is really the, the thing to keep in mind that, um, that basically you can, you can give gifts. Um, and you can give up to $15,000 to any person annually and not have to worry about any sort of tax on that. However, when you get over that, you're going to have to start excluding some of that from your gift tax or from the, uh, uh, the estate, gift and estate tax. Now, when they combined the new tax code, when they combined it, it went up to, <laughs> the exclusion was $11,180,000 for a married couple. Or I'm, I'm sorry, that's an individual. A married couple is double that. So if you've got, if you're married and you have an estate that's worth more than $23 million, you definitely need to be talking to me or to someone. Um, Just so everybody is clear on, you know, the second bullet point there, if I want to give Stuart, you know, a $50,000 car, I can do that and not necessarily have to trigger a gift tax over that. However, I would have to file a special you know, tax form when you file your taxes, basically announcing that you've done that every year. Yes, it's and, and it's then not it actually time. comes off of mm -hmm. you know this number right there, um, which you know the biggest change in our lifetime is that we've seen you know basically the um, federal estate estate tax go from you know, six hundred thousand to almost $12 million a person. So yeah. that's been you know, the huge difference in the way everything has changed. So. Right. And so when you look at the, uh, the federal estate tax, um, and, and the new feature that came out in 2018 is that it excludes, there's an exclusion is, is portable. Unused portion left by deceased spouse can be de transferred to a, a surviving spouse. That's what's cool. So let's say that you're married and uh, you've got $22,360,000 that can be left to beneficiaries tax-free. Um, if your spouse passes away, you still can use that full amount so that you can make sure that your uh, heirs get the money that, they, that you've saved up or the estate that you've saved without having to worry about Uncle Sam taking it. Um, so this is just a chart of some of those basics for those of you who like to look at charts. Um, basically, this is, this is the history of it from 2015 all the way to 2019. It's increased dramatically, and uh, yeah, it's pretty incredible.